Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and what I thought we would do for this video is give you guys a W1200 shotgun guide. Now we're not going to be focusing on the 1014 here in this video because I'm a bit old school when it comes to using shotguns, like I much prefer pump actions to semi-automatic or full auto shotguns, kind of the same way that a lot of snipers prefer to use bolt actions as compared to, you know, semi-automatics and stuff like that, just I'm a bit old school in that respect and I really enjoy the W1200 here in Modern Warfare Remastered, I'm actually just a big fan of shotguns and Call of Duty in general. Like, if you're a longtime fan of my channel, you may remember some of my old shotgun montages back in the day or back in Black Ops 2. As a prestige master, like, my top weapon in terms of kills was actually the R870. Like, I really enjoy using shotguns in the Call of Duty series, and every single year I spend a lot of time with them trying to figure out how they work and how to effectively use them. Like, even during the Infinite Warfare beta, I was using shotguns and making shotgun videos. I enjoy the playstyle a whole lot, and I figured we would make a W1200 guide for you guys here with this video. Let's Let's start things off here with the damage. The W1200 does a ton of damage. Up close, it does 40 damage per pellet, and it drops off to 10 at a distance, and of course, that is times 8. So allow me to explain this, because I'm sure there's some of you guys out there that don't understand how shotguns work in the Call of Duty series, or how shotguns work in real life. So let me give you guys this image I found on Google. The image on your left is going to be buckshot. The image on your right is actually going to be a slug, and a good example of a slug shotgun would actually be like the uh, KSG from Black Ops 2. If you remember, you shoot, and instead of like it being inaccurate, it was super accurate and it would actually hit people at a good distance. It was basically one projectile, but of course the downside is if you miss, you're using a pump action shotgun, you're probably going to die. The one on the left, of course, is buckshot and that encompasses pretty much every shotgun just about in the Call of Duty series. Basically, you shoot your shell, your shell is going to explode and a bunch of shots or pellets are going to come out. Each of them is going to deal damage based on the distance between you and your opponent. So to make things simple, if I am three feet away from you and I shoot my W1200 at you, every pellet that hits you is going to deal 40 damage. If you are 12 meters away from me when I shoot my W1200, every pellet that hits you is going to deal 10 damage, right? It has damage drop off just like every other weapon pretty much in the Call of Duty series. Now, before anybody asks, no, you do not actually get any headshot damage multipliers when using any shotguns here in Modern Warfare Remastered. So if any of the pellets actually hit them in the head, it's not going to help you out. It'll get you a headshot, which helps you towards your camos, but that's pretty much all it's going to do. So now that we understand how damage works with the W1200, you can see that we can deal a maximum of 320 damage up close, which is massively overkill, and a maximum damage of 80 at the end of our effective range. Keep in mind, the effective range of the W1200 is 12.5 meters. Once you get past that, your pellets actually disappear. As you guys can see here, I'm shooting at this wall, and it does nothing. I'm not even hitting the wall, but if I move slightly closer, I'm now within that 12.5 meter range, and I'm actually hitting the wall. Once you get past that 12.5 five meters your pellets disappear something to keep in mind but yeah at the end of your maximum effective range you're only dealing 10 damage per pellet which is not very good stopping power does actually help the w1200 quite a bit so it's going to increase the damage of each of your pellets by 40 percent this means your maximum damage up close goes from 320 up to 448 which is massively overkill like 320 was already overkill 448 is just silly but also your maximum damage at a range is going to go up from 80 to 112, which means with stopping power, you can actually get a one hit kill at the end of your effective range. This is good and bad, I would say. Like, it's, stopping power is not awful, but I just, I don't recommend it really on the W1200, and here is why. Up close, it's complete overkill. It's already overkill without stopping power. It does not help you at all up close. At the end of your effective range, where it takes your damage from 80 and bumps up to 112, you need to have all eight of your pellets actually hit hit your opponent for you to actually get a one hit kill, which is very inconsistent. As you guys can see, shotgun pellets, they kind of go everywhere. They're not very accurate and you actually get no benefit whatsoever from aiming down sights. Like that's the way it was back in Call of Duty 4. That's the way it is here in Modern Warfare Remastered. While aiming down sights with a shotgun in this game, you do not get an accuracy bonus like you do in most other Call of Duty games. It's just as inaccurate as if you were hip firing. The only real benefit I would say is you get a little bit more aim assist. Like it helps you out a little bit more if you're actually 
aiming down sights as compared to if you're hip firing, but still it's not very helpful. So to actually get a one hit kill with stopping power at your maximum range, you have to hit all eight pellets. If you only hit seven, that's not enough to kill them. If you hit eight, you can kill them, but it's really hard to do that. It's very inconsistent. So I don't really recommend stopping power. Now there is something to be said about that tiny little area between when you're doing 40 damage by default and when you're dropping down to 10 damage where you're doing 30 damage or 20 where that can actually help you basically it means you have to hit one less pellet to actually kill your opponent but overall it just i don't really recommend stopping power although it is viable and some people swear by it so teach his own but personally i recommend juggernaut when using the w1200 and the reason why is it allows me to close the gap closing the gap is like the most important aspect of using a shotgun effectively being able to close the distance between you and your opponent is what's going to separate a good shotgun player from a bad shotgun player because keep in mind let's be frank like here in modern warfare remastered most of the people on the other team are going to be using an assault rifle that can kill you in two bullets up to 40 meters away you my friend have an effective range of like i don't know nine meters where you can get a consistent one hit kill you see the disparity there right so you have to be able to close that distance somehow and juggernaut allows you to do that in a lot of situations it basically is going to give you a flat damage reduction to bullets by 25 percent as well as explosives so basically people shooting at you with stopping power they don't get the benefit of stopping power if they're not using stopping power you're going to eat a lot of bullets from them it's going to help you get close enough to them to the point where you can actually get a one hit kill right so that's why i recommend using juggernaut it's kind of my go-to perk when using the w1200 but one of the cool aspects of the w1200 is since you don't really have to have stopping power you can actually use a wide variety of perk twos and all of them are pretty much equally viable uav jammer is very good i mean uavs are obviously a constant threat here in modern warfare remastered so using this will allow you to navigate the map undetected which will then help you close the gap and get behind your opponents and take them out with your shotgun sleight of hand is actually pretty helpful i mean it takes a pretty long time to reload your shells into your shotgun so being able to have sleight of hand on is actually kind of nice it reloads your weapon a little bit faster double tap is actually great on the w1200 because it increases your fire rate by about 33 percent which means it's going to cycle out that empty shell even faster which means you can get more shots off therefore you can have uh, faster follow-up shots it's just it's very nice although i would like to say and i have a bit of a comparison here for you guys it's worth mentioning that via yying you can shoot a standard w1200 without double tap as fast as somebody who is using double tap so the clip on the left is me using stopping power the clip on the right is me using double tap and as you guys can see with the clip on the left i shoot i double tap y very quickly and then i shoot again this cycles the shell out much quicker for some reason it was like that back in call of duty 4 and it's the same here in modern warfare Mastered, but basically it cycles the shell out even faster which allows me to get my follow-up shot off a little bit faster and as you can see the two are pretty comparable again clip on the left no double tap clip on the right with double tap the only trouble is it's pretty hard to aim if you're constantly y yying right like if you guys have a controller near you or at least try picture a controller in your head if you're an average player who doesn't play in any weird ways or anything your right thumb is going to be constantly double tapping y your right index finger is going to be pulling the trigger your left thumb is of course going to be on the left stick and at that point you have no fingers left to control your right stick unless you're playing claw or using a modded controller like a scuff or maybe like the uh the new xbox elite controllers or anything like that like unless you're using a special controller with back paddles and stuff or playing claw you can't aim while double tapping y and shooting it's pretty freaking hard to pull that off right but i want to mention it for you guys like if you guys have a controller like that or if you play claw or if you play like some sort of a weird button layout i don't know but if you double tap y while shooting your w1200 it's going to shoot it as if you have double tap which is a pretty cool quirk that i figured i'd share with you guys here in this video going on down the list here of perks overkill is actually very beneficial on the w1200 but keep in mind if you do want to use it make sure the w1200 is your primary weapon right because movement speed in modern warfare remastered is based off of your primary weapon shotguns and submachine guns are the fastest moving weapons in the game followed up by assault rifles and sniper rifles then followed up by light machine guns so if you have the w1200 as your primary weapon and you're overkilling it with an RPD light machine gun, when you swap to your RPD, your RPD will be moving around as fast as if you were using a shotgun, which is pretty awesome. Of course, the downside is you have no stopping power, but still, it's a pretty cool quirk. So keep in mind, if you are using overkill with the W1200, make sure it is your primary weapon. Now, this is going to be my general recommended class for the W1200. I actually like to run uh, special grenades times three quite a bit. It's pretty helpful to help close the gap, like stunning your opponent or flash them if you prefer that will allow you to consistently set up fights in your favor alternatively some people swear by the foregrip on the w1200 which i think is fine
fine. Like, uh, here's a side-by-side -side comparison I did. The foregrip is actually going to reduce your view kick by a ton, but looking back at this footage, and you guys feel free to judge for yourselves, it almost looks like if you're using foregrip that it centers itself back a little bit faster, right? Like, not only does it not kick as high, but it goes back down to a ready position even quicker, but the results are pretty close. Maybe I didn't, like, do it properly. I don't know. Feel free to judge for yourselves. But overall, foregrip, it helps a bit, but it doesn't help a ton, but some people swear by it, and I personally like using it as well. Like, I could go with or without the foregrip, so whichever you prefer, either use stun times three, in my opinion, or use the foregrip, whichever you prefer. Juggernaut and Steady Aim, these are very, very good perks. Now, the maps that I personally like to use the W1200 on include Vacant, Crash, shipment as was district and the reason why is these are maps that have very tight hallways very tight alleyways and areas where i can duck in and out of cover very very quickly right you'll find that using a shotgun here in modern warfare mastered is actually pretty difficult because the vast majority of maps are pretty wide open and again going back to it like you have all these people using very powerful assault rifles that can two shot kill you up to 40 meters away it's hard to compete against that so i tend to use this weapon a lot on vacant i use it a lot on crash and district and when they eventually remaster the variety map pack, I imagine it's going to be decent on a lot of those maps as well, with, of course, the exception of Creek. But uh, Broadcast is a map that you can effectively use a shotgun on. You can definitely use it effectively on Kill House as well as Chinatown. So we're going to have to see how that works out when they actually do decide to remaster the variety map pack, which is probably coming. It is uh, showing up in game files already. And I wonder how the future updates of Modern Warfare Mastered are actually going to affect this weapon. Because as you guys know from the video I posted yesterday, nine new attachments have been leaked for Modern Warfare Remastered, and some of those, I imagine, are going to be available on shotguns like the W1200, primarily Extended Mag as well as Long Barrel. Will Long Barrel actually be effective on the W1200? Will Extended Mag actually be good? Because I personally think that I would like to run Extended Mag on this rather than a foregrip, like run my Stun Times 3, run Juggernaut, run Steady Aim, and Extended Mag. That sounds pretty good. No reloading for me. Like, I can't wait to see how that's going to play out. If it actually plays out, of course, it's always is leaked information it's all subject to change but i imagine that stuff is going to be coming to the game in the future and i imagine it's going to have some impact on how we shotgun in the future of modern warfare remastered but to close off the video here for you guys i'm going to give you guys some quick tips just to kind of reiterate some things as well as point out some other things as well ADSing does not help when using shotguns in this game. You can ADS if you want to, it doesn't help or hurt you, but just remember it's not actually going to actually give you any accuracy benefits. Steady aim is incredibly helpful when using shotguns. Stopping power is not required on the W1200, although it can help it. Move cover to cover frequently and try to stay indoors the best you can. Like, for example, if you're trying to play on a map that's typically not well known for being a shotgun map, like uh, Crossfire, for example, just stay inside. Like, always try to stay inside. Don't try and cross streets like that. Just, just always stay in close quarters areas when using a shotgun. Headshots do not help you when using shotguns in Modern Warfare Remastered, so don't even try to aim for it unless you're, of course, trying to get headshots. YY firing is basically like free double tap if you can do it effectively, and always try to find a secondary. Now, I recommend using the Deagle by default because the Deagle is a two to three shot kill at just about every single range, even without stopping power, and that's very nice, obviously, on a shotgun. But as soon as you kill a guy and you like, there's not a bunch of other people around you, you, grab his AK-47, grab his M16, grab his M4, his MP5, or what have you, because you're going to find having that secondary can definitely help you a lot when using a shotgun here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope you guys all found it helpful and informative. Let me know down there in the comment section below how you personally like to run your W1200 and whether or not you like shotgunning in Modern Warfare Remastered as a whole. I would love to hear about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day.